Engine, how are you? Great, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. So, uh, tell me, what are customers looking for in their digital imaging systems these days? It's a great question. It really comes down to flexibility here. Uh, back in the day, researchers would go ahead and they'd buy a single imaging system just for a single application. And, and that can be great, there's some benefits to that, but isn't it better to have a system that can do all these different things here as opposed to having three or four systems that you have to maintain, take care of? Absolutely, so um, what, uh, what features of the Temidoc MP um, speak to that? So, as, so what's really cool about this system here is we're moving beyond just traditional Dell documentation. We can do that, can luminescence detection, fluorescence detection, and even better than that, it's not just visible light fluorescence, RGB fluorescence. It's also far red and near infrared, which is an area that researchers, those are dyes that researchers want to work with more. So the system can do all these things. Essentially, the Chemidoc MP is really going to meet all of your, your blotting and gel needs. Great. Um, so do you want to walk me through this software? Yeah, absolutely. So, so it's a really easy software to use. The design concept was that within 15 minutes, a user can go ahead and teach themselves how to use the system. So that's really phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's very, very friendly. So for example, what I'm doing is I'm just zooming in and out on, in this example, a blot. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to essentially select the application, select the dye that I'm interested in measuring at this point. And you can see we have traditional chemiluminescence color metric signal and a whole slew of new floor four options. Uh, most notably, uh, we have our Starbright B700 floor four. And this is our new near infrared dye. And we also, of course, can measure traditional IR800 dyes, for example. So um, all you do is select that. You go over the exposure, and you pick different exposure options. So in this case, I've just picked an auto exposure. So it's really, really nice. You can go ahead and just say, OK, let the system tell me what the best setting is. And I can show you how to tweak that to, to get even better results out of it. But it's very, very easy, as you can see, very friendly. It's very easy also to go ahead and add different signals. So for example, maybe we want to go ahead and measure IR 800. We could do that. Or what we're recommending our dilated 800 dye. Very, very simple. At the end, all you do is you just click the camera button. That's it. So let's look at some previous results I've taken before. So uh, here's an example of gallery view. So once you go ahead and you acquire an image like I showed you before, um, you just go ahead and you say, OK, it's saved automatically. I want to look at it. Let's, let's see what I've got. So here's an example. Just double click. What you're looking at here is a composite image of three channel or a triplex experiment. So Western blotting. We're looking at Starbright V700. We're looking at Dilated 100. And we're looking at Rotamine, which in this case happens to be our normalization factor. So you're able to look at three targets on the same blot. That's really powerful. That's less blots that you have to actually process, you actually have to worry about. Um, very, very simple interface. So I'm just going to zoom in because I'm kind of curious to see a little more. See that resolution? Really, really nice. And this is really cool too. You can tap on the screen and anywhere you tap, it's going to give you different signal intensities. And this is helpful in determining have I hit saturation? Is there a better, better exposure time for me? Really, really nice. Um, let's go ahead and let's just focus on Starbright here. So I've expanded so I can see my image here. It's just a very simple dilution series for, I think it's a ATG7 target. Um, and again, you can see right away, we got a little saturation here. So that's not great. So we got to go ahead and we've got to lower the exposure time. And you can very, very easily say, hey, let's see, what did I do to get this image? So in this case, I took an image in six and a half seconds. So maybe I needed to decrease that exposure time just a little bit. And we have tools to, again, help you pick a better exposure option. But it's very, very simple to go through and find essentially what you're looking for, be able to analyze that data, and then most importantly, get the data off the system. You're not limited to just using the software. You can use this and additional analysis software for even more features and more options for you. Great, well thank you so much. Thank you.